South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem joins us now with reaction. Governor, thank you so much for being here. It was bipartisan, the backlash against the CEO uh, there of TikTok. Could the federal government do what you did in South Dakota? Yeah, I think it was incredibly encouraging to watch that hearing yesterday and watch Republicans and Democrats be united in recognizing the real threat that China is to our national security. You know, South Dakota took action months and months ago to ban TikTok here in our state. And we watched after that, we took that first step and were an example. Over 30 states follow us. Uh, then Congress took action uh, to ban it from federal devices. And now we're seeing hearings on Capitol Hill as well. So it is a, a device that China is using, that the Communist Party is using to manipulate algorithms, to influence our children, to spy on us, gather personal data, and they're doing it to destroy us. So when the federal government and this president doesn't take action, it's up to governors to do so. And South Dakota has consistently been leading the way. What's your biggest concern? Is it, I mean, we heard a lot about videos that are on TikTok that our children can see, encouraging them to commit suicide and play these crazy games. Is it uh, the drug traffickers down on the southern border that are using TikTok to, TikTok to get migrants across the border? Or is it them spying on us? What's the biggest concern? I think we need to be concerned about all of the above. Um, it's interesting how China has a long-term goal to destroy the United States of America. I'm not sure if Americans right now, when I watch people talk about how much they enjoy TikTok, I'm concerned Americans aren't even willing to be inconvenienced um, anymore to protect their freedom. Uh, that's the education process that we need to do. We need to recognize that not only are they building up their military, manipulating currency, stealing our intellectual property, they're also spying on us. They're using it to influence our children. Uh, they're destroying our culture, allowing illegal drugs to come in and kill our next generation of leaders. Uh, this is something that China will spend hundreds and hundreds of years doing. They've got a long-term goal, and now they're partnering with our greatest enemies to make sure that they can do that, recognizing that their path to world domination is uh, taking the United States out of the way, Governor getting rid of us. And if we lose this country, where do we go? Where do we go, Ainsley? Right. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, Governor, uh, Governor, the Chinese government came out yesterday and spoke and said, we are going to stop you, ByteDance, from selling off to an American company. So anybody who thought mm -hmm. this wasn't linked directly to the government, the government doesn't come out and prevent a sale unless they're vehemently involved. Plus, he could not deny that they are, under, uh, they are obligated to give up our, uh, our information uh, to them. But here's the problem. Donald Trump tried to ban it. But when it comes to banning it, they're going to need bipartisan uh, a bill, Senate legislation, handed up to mm -hmm. the president to have him sign to ban it. So do you think he'll sign it knowing that he's concerned about losing the 18 to 22 year old vote? And he just did a TikTok on, on St. Patrick's Day. I don't think he'll sign it because over and over again, this president has proven that he won't protect America and he won't make the right decision, especially when there's pressure. And the reason that I think he thinks he can get away with that is because it was just weeks ago, we had a Chinese spy balloon flying over this country. And we quit talking about it already. If you go to every other network, if you go on social media, even Americans in their coffee shops aren't talking about the fact that this president allowed China to send a spy balloon over our military installations and gather information. And our president didn't shoot it down until it was over the ocean and they had difficulty recovering the information that was in it. So I think they believe that our society here in America has ADD, that we don't pay attention to anything for very long and we forget about these important issues and move on, and that the president has learned that about us as well and thinks if he can just change the narrative, maybe come out with uh, some other political scandal against the other party or a former president, uh, that the American people will just move on and forget about the fact that he's giving away our country and he's giving it away to the enemy. That's exactly right. Uh, you mentioned enemies, Governor. You've taken it to the next level with another bill that you recently signed restricting state and local governments in South Dakota from doing business with what you call six evil foreign governments, China and the CCP being one of them. Describe this bill. We're going to prevent uh, evil foreign governments from generating revenue with the state of South Dakota. I did an executive order months ago about this, but uh, recently we just signed a bill that codified it into law that said if you're a 
countries such as China, Venezuela, Cuba, North Korea, Iran, uh, that you are no longer going to be able to do business with the state of South Dakota. We will not help you profit off of uh, our state and our people, and we're also going to aggressively go after the fact and make sure that you can't own our land either. Uh, this is action that I think every state should be taking right now. All right, Governor, are you going to run for president? Oh, man, I tell you what, <laughs> we've got a lot of other things that we're dealing with right now. So uh, we'll, we'll talk in the future. <laughs> Don't know yet. So maybe. Mm. Okay. Not a no. <laughs> you guys have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Governor, thanks so you much. Guys have a you got it day. in there, Brian. Not today.